pretend to work with. It's got you know, different loops. It kind of frees you up from the shackles of a studio uh, environment. Um, you know, our students right now, if they want to get something like this done, they have to come into the studio, sign out, you know, a time. Hopefully they'll be creative when that time is and they'll get some work done. But if you're not creative, you know, during that particular hour or two, you, know, you kind of waste time and then as soon as you get out of the studio, you think of something, but now with this type of thing, you can get ideas down real fast. I think the most interesting thing I've come across so far are apps for music performance. And it was just by chance, I, you know, I was searching through different YouTubes and I saw the string quartet, they were playing, you know, some group in Germany, they were playing a, a typical Beethoven Sonata and all of a sudden they put down their string instruments and they picked up iPads and they started playing with different uh, you know, virtual or iPad instruments. And the cool thing about this is you can set everybody up if you have four or five players with an iPad you can set them up and put them all on the same scale and then have different instruments going on and you could have you know, your, your, your so called jam band you know. And there are traditional some sort of synthesizer but there are you know, flute, for example. So do you think an iPad band would be in the making? Oh, sure, Richard? that's one of my plans. That's what I have, and that's what I have planned. Seriously? Yeah. yeah, sure. Sure, and you know, everything's wireless. You know, you set up different wireless speakers uh, in, uh, in different places, let's say in the atrium of the Quick Art Center. I mean, you could get a real, uh, a real event happening.